A brief guide to release planning. Teams that focus on iteratively delivering their product to the customers invariably spend a fair amount of their energy in the release planning processes. Release planning can follow different frameworks and methodologies depending on the product, expertise and inclination of the team involved, and a few other factors. Here are a few different approaches to the release planning. Agile release planning. This approach involves breaking down the software development process into smaller iterations called sprints. Each sprint lasts for a specific period, typically two to four weeks, and includes a set of features that are prioritized based on their business value. Feature-based release planning. If you are grouping features into logical sets and releasing them as a package, you are indulging in feature-based release planning. The features are prioritized based on their business value and released when ready. Since there is no fixed sprint duration, this approach allows for a little more flexibility. Time-based release planning. Agree on a specific date for the release, regardless of the features or functionality included, and you are on the path to time-based release planning. The main goal of time-based release planning is to deliver a new release of the product or software system at regular intervals. Continuous release planning. This approach involves continuously releasing minor updates or enhancements to the software. The development team uses continuous integration and deployment techniques to push changes to the software product as they are made. This one requires a great deal of process and organizational maturity to succeed. There is no one-size-fits-all approach here. Ultimately, what works for you will depend on your team's needs and the nature of your project. It's important to regularly evaluate and adjust your release planning approach to ensure it continues to deliver for you. Visit amyboids.com now to learn more about our release planning and reports app for JIRA.